Hello, everyone. Today, I'd like to show you all something truly deplorable. A super powerful official build with 100% and 1 <laughs> crit rate and 202% crit damage. It's a perfectly built set with good damage and good crit rate. There's two settings for it, but for now, let me show you my uh, artifacts for this. So it's like this. 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 And this. I'll explain more as we go, but for now, know that I use two pieces of the Bloodstain and I use two pieces of Gladiator. Now, this setup is actually really simple. Other builds, I may require a little more uh, finesse, a little more uh, techniques. But this one, this one's very easy to handle. You could just use uh, Bennett, or you could just not use Bennett. It's all the same. Let's go and just quickly tear apart our pal Storm Terror. I'm not going to use Bennett this time. I'm just going to go ahead and show you normal damage. I mean, dude, I have 100% crit rate. Over 100% crit rate. I have guaranteed crit, and my crit damage is insane. So, And this isn't even like the perfect artifacts either. Not to mention if you're good at the uh, or machine gun official technique, you can pretty much tear anyone to pieces. Let's go. Super conduct. <laughs> Each of these shots are like over 10k a piece. So that was pretty fast, right? We'll use some original resin and see what we get. Oh, I got two, but of course, no prototype. Oh, a crit rate one, that's okay. Maybe if I get crit damage on it, that'd be pretty decent. Eh, yeah, I should sigh like Devlin. Duke Devlin. So, as you can see, Duke Devlin died an exceedingly painful death at the hands of my Fisho Buster. So, the Fisho Buster is. Actually, a very easy build to, to set up. As I showed you earlier, Fischl has over 100% crit rate another and, universe uh, and 200% found... crit damage. That is because Skyward Harp gives a lot of crit rate and crit damage. Though you only need, like, Skyward Harp R1 and you really can do a lot of good stuff with it. But if you have R5 like I do, well, if you get more crit rate. Uh, you get more crit damage and your um, off shot does more damage too. So, Physical Fischl is one of the strongest builds in the entire game. Now, as I've shown you before, these aren't like perfect crit rate and crit damage artifacts. We, we could do better in terms of crit rate sometimes, we could do better in crit damage sometimes. But for the most part, a 6-20 ratio is serviceable. I mean, the 6-12 one, it, it could be better. But most of the points went into Dev, which is unfortunate, but it is a physical damage artifact. And then we have this Gladiator Helm, which I actually lucked out with, with crit rate and crit damage. I never got a crit damage uh, helm for um, Bloodstain or Gladiator. But uh, for the most part, with this Fischl build, you want to run two pieces of Bloodstain, which gives you 25% extra physical damage. Very important. You want to make sure you have Bloodstain. And then Gladiators, which increase your attack by 18%. So this setup has a good chunk of attack. And you add 18% on top of that. You add more crit damage on top of that. Then all you need to do is apply your official machine gun strike. Shoot twice. Enter aim mode. And then continuously spam your, your first two attacks. Why is this so? Well, that is because Fischl's first two attacks are very, very damaging fast if you use this technique whereas if you were to shoot all five at once it takes you a little bit of time there's a bit of delay in each shot with the official machine gun strike though you're constantly spamming arrows out all right now if i were to combine the power of bennett and klee in on this this evil being will do even more damage and I did mention a second settings to this build. The second settings is actually pretty devastating. So now we're going to showcase this second settings real quick. Let me just build up uh, Bennis's power and then we will do that second setting and put these people to shreds. 
Uh, you know what? Let's go to Wolf Wolfenbell. I need to go there anyway. Another thing about a physical official build is that the physical official build does not need any potions. So you just need the food and you're done. It's cheap and effective. It's literally half the price of other things that you would need. Uh, you would need uh, to buff up with to showcase big damages. For example, oh, I don't know, child. He needs that water potion. He needs uh, that as food. He needs this and that in order to show off his big dick. Well, Fischl has a bigger dick than child. Child is no match for Fischl. Because Fischl can do damage, real DPS. Not just one big chunk, just keeps shooting over and over again really fast. Doing over 10k a shot. And not just that. These shots also contain other things too. For example, you see all these numbers that pop up? That's because the Skyward Harp also has a separate shot. Then we have our pal Oz that contributes more shots. So this thing comes out like a rain of destruction. It is very devastating. The moment someone opens up to you, you tear them to shred like this. Reds. All right, now I'm gonna go and uh, install the second settings. I think the second settings would be better if I have more crit damage. If I have more crit damage, uh, if I have more crit damage, like I use my crit damage hat. Oh my god, dude, my damage will be through the roof. But that second settings also has some uh, problems. And, uh, the problem is, is that my crit rate isn't over 100%. Still, as long as you have a modest amount of uh, crit rate, it's good enough. More than good. All right, now let's go and deploy this technique. This time we're going to use the Die he Heli Symphony, D Heli Symphony, but I call it Die, or Delicious Tenshu Meat, which gives a ten percent crit rate. But this one gives the 55% crit uh, physical damage, which adds up quite a bit because it's calculated separately from everything else. Now, my artifacts are still going to be the same, but my crit rate will take a bit of a hit using this setup. Alright, let's see. I use this. Let's go quickly and deal with our pal. Woof! Traveler. Ready to test your skills? Ready to test your skills? So, I guess as before. Why the ice? Why this? Oops, I just saw 16k just now. Stay in the circle. 12k, 15k. Oh. Pretty damaging. He's running away. I think though it's better to just apply um, to just apply the uh, superconduct. I think that's all you need. The superconduct or Bennett alone would be good enough. If you try to mix in too many things at once, you're not sitting around DPS. Now Klee, Klee has mines that can also uh, reduce enemy defense like this. So that helps. better to dodge and shoot at the same time but you lose a lot of stamina and do so I much prefer sitting down and uh, using this but that's better for co-op when someone can take care of you otherwise dodging shooting twice dodging shooting twice dodging is still probably a superior option the third shot takes a second to come out you, your hand kind of jerks a little bit all right 
Anyway, let's go and do some Primo Gem. Yeah! Sword prototype. Oh, for God's sake. I want a Claymore prototype. I want to build... At least I got all three pieces of the Exodia. Uh, no, Exodia. But you know what I mean. I got all three pieces of the wolf off of him. That's something. Sword could be decent. I mean, um, if there's another character like Noel down the line that uses a one-hander, that could be good. Because uh, there is that, uh, whatchamacallit, sword. I can't remember its name right now. I think it's uh, Ranker or something like that. Prototype Ranker. That could be decent. But um, right now, Noel with her Claymore is where it's at. Alright, now let's go and dish out the pain to Child and call it a day. I've actually already fought him earlier, but uh, why not fight him again? I'll even build up my charges while I'm fighting him. This opportunity is quite hard to come by. Well then, amuse me. Surrender is a valid option. I promise I'll be just. Fourteen? Fourteen thousand? You've made some progress. Guess I should take him with seriously. No use hiding back there! All you do is run! <laughs> he can't hit me while every one of my shots tear him to pieces. Absurd. Pretty much it isn't that great i think i can do a better job at doing more damage if i had used cleat to toss in uh, the defense down but like i said you don't really need much setup with this this makes this makes this much easier to use and you can focus on the fighting rather than um dropping all kinds of weird shit on the ground and uh, potentially get your supports killed shot in the face and stuff like that that is the strength of this build the fact that you can just kind of move around and Really attack the enemy because Diona just kind of shoots this thing and get a shield. It auto aims. So simple. You don't have to aim or anything like Ganyu. You just kind of just do this, super conduct, lower their physical resistance, and tear them to shreds. That's all there is to it. This is so easy to use and so damaging. It's almost brain dead. I highly recommend looking into this. Uh, I think that a well built Fischl is something akin to having a good lawyer it is very good to have some power on your side now let's go and uh pay a visit to my um stone forest friends see another th build that i've been thinking about with regards to using fischl is that I i'm thinking about i'm thinking about doing something like this. you know how this um this domain gives you the Belide set, right? Which is the one that gives you a shield and something, something or another. And um, if you do, uh, you do extra 40% normal and charge attack if you have a shield on, or something or another like that. Uh, I'm thinking about using that in the build instead of just the uh, Gladiator and 25% physical damage. That could be pretty nasty. Though there is a problem. That is that Fiona is, uh, sometimes hit the wrong target. It's okay. Bro. Just chuck one of these. Get healed. Tear them to shreds. No problem. Seems like you're food now, but that's okay. You've already seen the damage that I do with Shields. 
la la la. Everybody stand back! Think you can put on for feel by self. What? They're dead already? What's the deal? <laughs> uh, so there you have it. If they have a shield on, no problem. These guys can help you reduce it. Diona, Diona, or whichever way you want to pronounce her name, destroys electric shields easily. Meanwhile, Klee and Bennett can destroy the ice shields cleanly. If you are a horrible person, and you don't care about the extra attack from uh, having two fires, perhaps you can take Barbara with you. If you take Barbara with you, that means there are no shield which you cannot destroy. Shield, uh, Barbara can destroy a fire yeah. shield in record time. There's nothing there. Yeah. Yep. they have a five star berserk set that I can get hurt like this and still get more crit rate that would be disgusting especially if you were to combine that with a critical hat the critical hat gives you 66% crit rate uh, crit damage that's that's no joke oh shit I should have um, switched to Barbara to heal because Barbara is much better heal than uh, Bennett Bennett is like you have to use your ult if you don't have your ult then you're pretty much useless and Diona doesn't heal that much. I have her as a HP build at the moment, but she doesn't heal as much as I wish. Usually when it comes to healing, I kind of want a um, something that can work as an emergency heal and stuff like that. But anyway, that's pretty much it for my demonstration. Like I said, there's a couple of sets that you can do with this. But having Barbara on the team, you may sacrifice the attack, but you can handle any shield that comes by. Or, if you don't care about that, then, um... I mean, the only reason why you would use Barbara along with this set is not to mention... Actually, Barbara is actually really good, I think about it. Barbara's actually really good. Let me go and, um... Switch over. Now, earlier what I just said... I'll take care of it. ...about a fire shield. They look like... That's actually pretty cute. Cool. Two like medium height characters with two midgets. Look like some kind of like school or something. Like two teens taking kids to uh to kindergarten or something like that. Anyway, this setup will break any shields and you'll also get resistance. So that's an elemental resonance that is actually pretty decent. I mean look at all these resistance you have. This is a very defensive setup, but that's okay. Defensive there's nothing wrong with defensive setups. You don't have to always do extra damage to your foes. And if you run a setup like this, where you run uh, both Barbara and Fischl, I would say to use the Adeptus food instead. The Adeptus food raises attack is a much more solid thing for the whole team, whereas the physical one, you guessed it, only Fischl will have any benefits for it. Now let's get going. <laughs> This time, and it is gone. Now we use another secret technique. Barbara machine gun drive! So Barbara, like Fischl, have a very fast attack. 
so you could cancel her attack with this. And a very fast attack with. Barbara, the heel. Dead. See? No problem. Why do I need to throw ice at ice? Super sweet for that duck. Please animation cancel. Rest for the wicked. See a lot of these characters have animation cancel so they can swiftly switch from one attack to another. Dodge quickly, do tons of DPS. These are really good characters. They don't make like massive numbers. And with the exception of Barbara and her Barbara Crusher, but um most of them work really fast. See? That's really fast attack rate. And combined with Oz. Barbara can continuously dish out electric damage, which is kind of scary. Although that's not like the highest damage in the world, but it is very easily produced. So don't worry about that. Although I think Fischl's physical D DPS is probably still higher if you can just do this with superconduct enemy. But sometimes you want to have Barbara out so you can heal with Barbara quickly and effectively. Meanwhile, with Klee, as you saw earlier, you can make it animation cancel like this to throw lots of bombs fast. Like this. So there's a lot of fun ways to use these characters. I am a little weird though. Compared to official. Just like this. So just gotta master that. I don't think I mastered it myself. I still need more training. I'm gonna have to practice, 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 practice with regards to doing this. But yeah, this is a pretty solid team. And like I said, having extra defenses is not necessarily a bad thing. Having tons of damage is great, but sometimes you realize that, oh hey, do I really need all this DPS? You don't. I mean, I'm showcasing a very damaging build, yes, but for the most part, you really don't need it. You do it because you, you want to show off how big your dick is, but for the most part, it's not something you need. Alright, Barbara Machine Gun Drive! See, it's not as damaging, but that's okay. You can heal on the side. And then you want to rip someone to shreds? Oh, uh oh, ice shield. Oh, wait, that means something. He gets damaged, though, because his domain hates this kind of reaction. But that's okay. Quickly switch over to Barbara, who will heal. Woo! Woo! No problem. Quick, quick, quick. If I have teammates, I can clear it even faster if they can uh, do half the stuff that uh, I'm currently doing to support myself. And I can just focus on moving around and shooting instead of um, doing things every two seconds. Like, oh yeah, I gotta go and break the shield. I gotta go and heal. Yada, 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 yada. So this is a pretty long-winded discussion about building the ultimate Fischl, but I hope that we all learn a little bit about Fischl and how cool she is, and if you have a chance, you should really see Sixer. She's not just merely a support, she does it all! It's just like why I consider Ganyu yeah. S-tier. Fischl is oh, S-tier for me, fight. because of this. Huh. A team set up like this, where we have two healers that can still do ridiculous amount of damage, I think this is the kind of build that I would do for all my regular content. Because I mean, look at it. Everything I need is covered. Damage, healing, elements. I even have percentage damage reduction thanks to um, all the resistance I have. Oh, goodness gracious. 
gracious. Goodness gracious. Heal off the queen. Come on, we can do it. Please heal. Go break the guy's shield. <laughs> Sometimes I mess up with my ties and measure, so I still need to get training. Create a shield. See, look, this setup also has a shield of which to protect me. It really has everything. It's got it all, man. It's got it all. DPS, shield, two healings, more DPS. Yeah. I think this is the best team comp for um, Fisho. I'll probably talk end up talking about that again at some other at some other time. But that this, I believe, deep in my heart, is the best setup for Fisho. For me, anyway. It really has everything you could possibly ask for. Every shield. Your own shield. Everything. Well, that's about it for our deplorable official showcase. I thank you all for watching. Until next time.